We have to give you an update now on uh, the Delta flight attendants rebelling against a new policy. Um, Delta launching a campaign to retract their airlines pin policy. Watch this. Starting today, Delta is banning all flag pins except for the United States flag. Last week, two of our coworkers faced racist harassment online. Not only did Delta's official corporate account exacerbate the harassment, but they also implemented a new policy punishing all the flight attendants, saying that now we can only wear pins with a U.S. flag on. For decades, flight attendants industry wide have wore flag pins as a symbol of our role connecting the world and connecting different cultures. This policy removes our right to express ourselves and does nothing to face the real problem of harassment. It gives bad actors an excuse to continue targeting us. By silencing workers and restricting expressions of our identity, Delta is betraying their own values and setting the stage for even more harassment and discrimination. The all Delta flight attendants, nobody's gonna stick together for us but us. Join thousands of us at deltaafa.org backslash sign now. We're getting Delta to retract this change in pin policy and enact some real change that'll stop us from this harassment. Because that's what we really mean. This is not just about a pin or picture. This is about defending our dignity. Because our pins are not the problem. Harassment and Delta's failure to do anything about it are the problem. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Let me say this, I always thought it was best once Delta went to those purple uniforms, but that's just a, a sidebar before we have to get into the rest of this. Last Friday, per the Washington Post, Delta Airlines apologized for a now deleted ex post that appeared to sympathize with a social media user who complained about flight attendants wearing Palestinian flag pins on their uniform. Ex user posted two pictures last Tuesday of two flight attendants donning the pins and called the accessories Hamas badges. Hmm. Full post read since 2001, we take our shoes off in every airport because of terrorist attack in US soil. Now imagine getting into a Delta flight and seeing workers with Hamas badges in the air. What do you do? Again, that's what the poster called them. The next day, Delta replied to the post. The airline wrote her screenshots. You remember this, brought it to you. Remember, it's been deleted, but here's what it said. I hear you, as I'd be terrified as well, personally. Personally, this is a Delta. This is Delta X account. Our employees reflect our culture, and we do not take it lightly when our policy is not being followed. Delta spokesperson said in a statement to the Post on Thursday that the Post was not in line with our values and our mission, and that the team member who wrote the Post has been counseled and no longer supports Delta's social channels, but did not specify whether the team member still works. Or Delta. It's tired of these dumb statements. Just say we transferred him. Okay. I'm not gonna give you his name, but we transferred him or we we asked him to leave. And he said, see ya. Just give it straight. What do you mean he doesn't support this and that? What are you talking about? Flight attendants who were photographed on separate flights are still working for the airline, we've learned, and have received support from the company. Delta said in a statement. Although it previously permitted pins representing countries outside the United States to be worn on uniforms, Delta said, starting Monday, only US flag pins will be allowed. Move the airline said it made in response to this week's incident. Okay. So they only want you to wear the American flag. Who's responsible for Guantanamo Bay? I'm just asking. Was it? Oh. Okay. They said you can wear it. I would have said they consulted with Kim Jong Un if they said they had to wear American flag pins, but that's not what they said. But this is kind of, it's so nutty to me. I'll see what Jackson has to say, but let me give you the rest first. And to remind you again, Hamas's flag has Islamic text on a green background, while the Palestinian flag is a black, white, and green tricolor with a red triangle on the flag. Very different. The petition by Delta, well, we have information on that too. Petition by Delta AFA Steering Committee, the national representative body of Delta flight attendants organizing a union at Delta, can be found on Action Network if you wish to support their cause and sign it. 
We'll be sure to include a URL in the video description as well. Because around here, we you're free to do as you feel and as you feel inspired to do. We don't limit that. Am I going too far, Jackson? I just I'm Delta's all over the place here to me. They're all over the place. And I can understand you have a uniform, you want people to stick to the uniform. It's best not to, you know. Get into this thing where people can be offended, or someone's dressed this way or that way, or someone's wearing big hoop earrings that can get caught on things. I get it. But this is specific. Palestinian flag, oh, we support this and that. Oh, by the way, only American flags. Either dip your toe in or out. Okay? Maybe I'm all over the place. What do you say? I mean, I think it's a. A, a rather lazy and cheap attempt by Delta Thank to you. solve anything, you know, like, because well, I don't really know what this is going to do in terms of like helping your flight attendants get treated better or giving them more satisfaction for the job and the company. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, it's not, it, it, it's not benefiting anybody in any way. And again, like, sure, you don't want people to just come to work wearing whatever they want, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, we got to be reasonable. But having a, a a Palestinian flag or any type of pin on, you know, you, you'd kind of have to squint really hard to even notice what it is, you know. So it's just it just seems like a cheap attempt to just say, "I'm with Israel 100 percent, no matter what they do, because that's what the government's with, and I want my subsidies." I, I don't know. It it just seems like something that they did to try to get along to go along. It, it was just kind of whack. Yeah. Thank you. It's whack. Yeah. And, you know, I'd rather you say nothing if this is what you're going to do. Yeah. And what happened to the person who posted that? <laughs> right. Part we said, about that, I, he would support personally, this I'd be <laughs> like, you're, you're an airline. Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? Did you fire him or not? All right. Um, there you have it. And I, listen, I like Delta. I like their snacks, that expensive little check-in place you can do. It came with my credit card. I wouldn't pay for it. But I like it. And my daughter likes it. But they <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Jackson. Yeah. It falls off sometimes, especially if you get there between breakfast and you know, lunch. You don't have one more bagel that I can toast. It's the very slim pickings. Maybe they'll correct that. You're better at that than correcting this other stuff. 